A Fiend and an Arcanist. Working together. Nightmares will not deter me, Demon Fawn. Stay your sermons, I won't be swayed. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Yone once again, and this time we are laning against a Bard. I'm not sure why. Um, I thought it was Lucian mid, so I was running uh, Amaruns, but it turned out to be Bard mid. And seems like he's a OTP. I think he had like 4 million mastery points or something, so he's probably playing this champ no matter which role he's given. Um, so laning phase is similar to other ranged matchups. Bard has a strong early game in the solo lane, so we're running full safe mode, so we just want to stay back here, and we also have the drone shield, plus some extra sustain, so we just want to stay back, you can also start W if you want to, he's not really, he's only played support like 99% of the time, but he actually has a very strong early game, um, with his Q and auto attacks, empowered auto attacks because of the passive, so need to not take any unnecessary trades early on. Now we can start trading if we want to. Um, just have to be careful of his Q, so. There has to not be any minions in front of us or behind us, otherwise we just get stunned and then he can auto tag us down. So that's the main thing we had to watch out for, um, just like what he did right here. Need to avoid that and then if you waste his Q, then we can go in for a trade because then he has no way of stopping us. Oh well, he landed two in a row, but it's fine if you're out of range from his auto attacks when he hits the stun because then he cannot get the extra damage off and then it doesn't really matter oh this is not a good fight oh and he got the double buff we did not have the uh, bot lane with us so i did not want to take this fight Now he's sitting with a ripoff and we can't really do much against it. Uh, that's why I'm running Tilbot. It's very good into those lanes where you can't really do anything early on and they're just gonna bully you out. Then if you end up getting low HP then you can just recall and Tilbot back instead of having to risk dying to get that minion wave, cannon minion and so on. I just wanted to deny him the uh, double relics, but we ended up getting a solid trade as well. Problem is, he's just gonna heal because he has to rip off, and he can just spam the W as well with the blue buff. But we have teleport, so we can just push him in, and then we can um, recall if we have to. Just don't have enough gold for the Berserkers though, um, so gonna get enough gold and then we can recall so we can get the tier 2 boots on the first base and that's really gonna help out the landing phase. I don't think he had a single electrocute prog off on us yet, from what I remember, so that's awesome. But that was a random Q, I don't know why she did that. Um, when you use your W, don't use it just to poke with, use it to cancel out damage. So, when they're about to use abilities, when you're going to last at a minion, that's when you can use the W. So, you waste some of their mana and you still end up getting the um, gold for the minions. And that's how you stall out, make them go out of mana, or at least slow mana, and then you can start taking over the lane. It's gonna cancel his recall. Okay, he uh, took the portal. 
That's nice. We shove this in and then he's gonna lose the entire wave. Oh, guess he's back. But what, did he just take the path all the way around? Weird. I don't know why he would do that. I think maybe he was thinking that I would flank him, but... Oh, I think he went for his passive, the uh, chimes. I'm gonna get the Drake for free at least. Because um, he's recalling. He recalled mid. So even if jungle comes, then it's gonna be a 2 versus 1 and then a bottle can come as well. We got free Drake. Nice, and I got the kill as well. Did not have to waste the ultimate. Top lane died, and that's not very good though. Actually, I was top, but he gave me mid on Victor. Oh, that was so close. I knew that she was going to flash, but... He changed the direction a little bit. My ultimate did not end up hit. Yeah, I had to yell out right there because otherwise I would just get stunned and then he just auto attacked me down. Otherwise, if he did not have the Q up, then maybe I could have went for the kill. But we are sitting on a ton of gold, so we can get that big component towards the shield, and that's really gonna amplify the damage because it gives both AD and attack speed, and that's exactly what we need. Caitlyn's still staying mid, so I have to go bot, I guess. Um, then Vex also needs to be mid, but they're pushing bot lane as two people, so it's fine that I'm getting some cover. Oh, Caitlyn still got the kill. But she did not have flash because she used it last time when we engaged on her, so that's a free kill. Our jungle also went down. Still some time left for my ult. Caitlyn needs to go, but um been mid for far too long and we don't really want to stay two people mid and sharing all the XP. This is the point where Bart solo lane starts falling off. Because he simply does not have the things that you need from a mid laner, so he cannot do much against us anymore. The recall and zoned him off from the minions, so that's the perfect for us. We can just keep pushing here, he can't really do much. The diner is fed though, so we had to watch out for that. But we do see her in the bottom side, so we're just gonna keep shoving in, push this out really fast. Unfortunately, you don't have enough gold for the Vamp Scepter. I could have stayed for a tower plate here, but then my recall would have been delayed and oh even the bot has a gold bounty, that's interesting. He's going full AP, of course. Looks like they're going for a roam top. Oh wow, they really committed for this one. That's why I like to use the E 
um, when I had to clear out risky wards because if they use a lot of stuff on me, then I can always see out, you know, um, unstoppable. We can cancel out with the CC, so there's a free ward, and we got out the Nami ult as well. Trading one for one, there's a set going bot. Oh wow, if I hit that third Q, then I could have followed up with the alts. Go bot here. Alright, it's okay, killing getting the kills, but that's alright. That was way closer than it should have been, and that's because I missed my W. Got the hero bot, I'm gonna get this tower here. I have teleport. And Caitlyn pushed too far up for some reason. I have to teleport here so I can um, cover Wallybear while he's doing the Drake. Because our AD carry died. Another free drake, we can just Q3 bot here and then get the farm as well. Alright, let's go for him. Oh man, if I did not miss that knockup, I think he healed and got some bonus moon speed. I'm pretty sure he healed actually. If I hit that Q, then Volibear would have survived for sure. get the shield bow on the next base and that's gonna be huge and now we're just gonna destroy anyone in a one versus one right now we also really fed we have four kills and take away the jungle camps make sure that you do that as well just take away every single thing on your way to the lane Right, bot is down, looks like they're flanking mid. They can't really do anything because um, Set is top side, so... 2 versus 2 is not gonna work out for them. Oh, there's a tower play going down without anyone getting the gold. That sucks. Oh man. Yeah, I had to get out. Oh, I th oh, nice, Wallabear survived, so I went in on Lucian trying to get him away from the Wallabear because if he kept damaging him, then Wallabear would have died for sure. We have enough for Shilbo, but we also don't want to let them push for free. Um, if I recall, then they're just gonna try to damage the tower. Cancel out his recall. We slow them down a bit and then we can push for the tower. Oh wow, okay, that alt hit. I really want to recall, I have so much gold. Dilbo and the B of Sword is a massive, massive power spike. It's fine to sell your starting item if you can get a big component, um, because that is really going to amplify your damage. People dying everywhere on the map. 
And the Vixal is also down, so I need to help out here. Wait, why did he go on the Nami? He should have went on the Lucian or the Diana. Any of them would have been fine because I could follow up with the alts. If you use everything on Nami, then we are both just gonna die because um, the damage dealers are still full HP. Oh, he's slow. Amana. Nice, there we go. Kilbo. Passive is so useful. Um, a lot of times it does end up baiting people out um, because it looks like we're going to die because we're low HP and then the shield comes in and we end up getting the kill. That's shoot for us. Getting the farm in the bottom side as well. Oh, Bard is still around. Oh, if we had just one more auto attack, he would have went down. But I used that E at the start to dodge out his Q, so I did not get stunned. Teleport does feel really nice to have on your name because you can just keep pushing and you don't have to worry about your team getting caught um, because you can always teleport in you know and help them out if a fight happens and you can't really do that if you have ignite Oh wow, she's just getting bursted, okay. Vex does have insane amount of burst damage. I don't know why we have three people bottom side. Uh, Vex should just go mid right after we got the kill on Diana. Because uh, Kaelin keeps getting caught. They're going top side somewhere. Yeah, if Kaelin did not get caught, then I could still be bottom side, and then we'll be able to defend from the tower. Kaelin is um, pinging us to go back. Oh man, okay. Hold back on him. Kaelin is pinging us to go bot, but um, if she keeps getting caught in the middle lane while we're split pushing, then we're just going to lose out. That's why I can't keep. Going to the side lane when I don't have my teleport up. Well, that was a questionable portal to take. Looks like he's still making it out. And that fear is so nice. It really is going to um, save you so many times because um, it makes them run away slowly. So It's a free way to deny engages, and especially because it's um, it works on multiple people, so you can proc it on the entire enemy team if you want to. Just gonna go silent after taking this, so we can defend. I'll take the wave, and if Lucian keeps pushing, then we can kill him as well. Got the Masses Power Spike, Shield Bow, Infinity Edge. Wait, why is uh, Vex in the jungle all alone? Question mark? Oh, he's getting caught again, what? Yeah, we can't really, um, it's hard to, um, split push, even though it is the correct move, because, um, I think Kaden is trolling or something, I don't know what's happening, because I had, uh, chat turned on, off. 
That was such a nice engage. That's absolutely huge because um, this is what you can do on Yone. If you get a really good engage off, then even if some of your teammates are dead, you can still turn it around. Nice, we got three people. Single engage can turn that into the Baron. So that alt actually single handedly carried the fight. Had to watch out for set, trying to flank. Nice, we took him down first and then we can finish. Got the Baron as well. And the Dragon is about to spawn. So that should be a free Dragon Soul. We just go silent here. Um, the dragon is about to spawn. Wow, he didn't die this time. That's nice. The jungle is down. So no one can contest. But the Dragon Soul, insane, this is the best one for Yone. Damage wise, gives you a huge amount of scaling. And get that extra damage as well, so just gonna obliterate people even if they build full tank. And they're winning mid, so that's nice, we can just keep pushing. Beats our mid. Oh wow, okay, Diana got the um the watch and she also landed on the other side. But it's actually fine though because uh, Nami got the shot down um because she ignited me so No carry is going to get all of that gold so that's completely fine. And they got four members on the enemy team. Take the inhibitor as well. People are spawning, so need to respect that because um, Bart will also get his ults up. I have help her up if they need it. Wow, oh, look at that damage. Yeah, I have to support because he tried to flank. And he also dies, so we can probably end it from here. I just have to push from the bottom side because Solution cleared out mid. So I need to empower these minions. Just keep going here. Two members are down anyway, so that should be free. Nice, and the bar is going down, so that was it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you all in the next one.